Hey everyone and welcome to Isms by Josie. Today we're going to be doing part two, a product demonstration from some of the products that Born Pretty has given to me. If you hadn't seen part one, go and um, check that out after this video for the list of products that they had given me. As you may or may not know, I am an affiliate of um, Born Pretty and I do have the product links and I'll leave them in the description box below as well as my discount code that you can use. It's Isms by Josie. Please consider using this for additional savings on these affordable prices. It'll help my family out and it'll help me get more videos out to you. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in. And for my new viewers, please consider subscribing, share, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and click on that notification bell for future videos. For today's design, I'm going to be doing a Valentine's Day set. Now, lately, I've been doing some really long nail designs. Not long nails, but long designs that... um take hours this isn't as long as the last um couple designs that i did but i definitely cut out a lot of this uh, filming to make it a shorter video so uh, i'm basing my design off of using only the products that were given to me by born pretty and as you see for the background i've already used the um jelly nude gel and I wanted to have like a nice um, translucent feel to the nail so I could still see through it a little bit. And um, I'm going to be using that really beautiful, beautiful uh, magnetic gel. Um, and I wanted to apply that to the tip of the nail. And to do so, I'm just taking these French tip stickers to make sure that my lines are pretty close to perfect and as you see here it is a deep magenta color i really love this color um again something about magentas and lately the pinks have been stealing my heart so um right now i'm using the magnet on it and i'm um, just check out what this is going to do to this magnetic gel look how vibrant that metallic is on there it's just craziness um and this was a happy accident i was trying to just to make a straight slash and it, it's the nail is so long that it didn't want to just do that so there is a bend at the end of it so i'm thinking that maybe i'm going to cross my um magnet gels i guess and you'll see what i'm talking about in a in a few seconds um, I'm gonna cross them and it's gonna look like some swirly like heart shaped kind of uh, look so I'm gonna do this again I'm putting the French tip sticker in the same position that the other one was in and I'm putting another layer of um, this magnet gel and I'm gonna use the magnet to make the same line try to even steven it um so that it crosses uh right down the middle and again it's like forming this um bend around the magnet it's not really going all the way across because the nail is so long but look how it's it's so cool it's like a ribbon it's like um the nail is exuding valentine's day vibes and is smoking at the tip so at any rate, um, I left the peel away because it's just such a great moment, an ASMR moment. Um, you can clean up the lines using a brush with some nail cleanser. But um, in today's video, I'm just going to show you what I did on my thumbnail because I'm pretty much replicating everything on um, the rest of the nails. And then I'm gonna be also using the extension nail gel that I received from Born Pretty. So um, right now I'm going to be doing another set of French tip stickers so that I can apply the reflective gel. And um, I wasn't too sure where I was going with this. I knew I wanted to just line it like I did with a previous set, um, but I 
I didn't want to just copy the same thing. It was really eating at me. So I was like, okay, well, what am I going to do in this one? So I figured let's just go with these French uh, tip stickers. I've got different ones that I'm using. I'm going to use a smile line towards the smile line of the nail. And then I'm going to use um, the V uh, shape uh, as you see here. And um, I'm just going to use that to make sure that I don't go over the tip. Um, I want all of my lines to be nice and crisp. So um, should you not be able to line your tips uh, with a nice clean line, you could think, possibly think of taping it off like I'm doing here and then put it on like a regular nail polish, like you would do with um, regular polish and then just peel away the stickers. It'll help you leave a nice clean line that you can easily clean up with some nail cleanser and a brush. But here's that reflective gel. Um, it is so freaking reflective E. <laughs> Whatever word you wanna use for that, but um, I really like it. And again, the soft pink color is very sweet. I. You know, I'm just, I don't know, I think I'm entering the dark side. <laughs> I just, you know, I was just never a, uh, like a pink fan, but um, I'm slowly becoming one, I think, especially uh, with the recent colors that I've been receiving lately. Um, they are pretty cute, so... But at the same time, if you notice, they're not just solid colors. Like, there will be, like, a solid color that I might see that'll be like, oh, that's a cute pink. Um, but as of lately, you can see that I've been getting um, some glitters, some metallic-looking pinks. And um, I think that might be the difference. But yeah, again, just doing that peel away. It's very nice. It's giving me um, Sleeping Beauty vibes. So here is the extension nail gel. It's the nonstick hand gel that you are um, able to manipulate with your fingers. Um, it is a non-toxic gel, so um, it should be okay. Um, I, what I do ahead is I'll nail cleanse my fingers just to remove any debris from, um, my hand, my fingers so that I don't transfer them to the extension gel. Um, you can use this to form, uh, nail extensions. I did that in a previous, um, Born Pretty, um, PR video. I wasn't really a fan of doing that. I mean, it's it was doable, it was fine, but like I just I'm not a fan of patting down <laughs> my gel with my fingers. Um, I don't think it leaves, well, it definitely doesn't leave a nice smooth surface that you won't have to worry about. Um, and so I'm just going to be uh, creating these uh, miniature balls. Um, I'm going to use them to create uh, petals. So um, for Valentine's Day, my husband knows, <laughs> well, not even, just randomly because sometimes he'll get me random flowers. But um, he knows that my favorites are lilies and I really like the stargazer lily. Um, and I thought that it would be really nice considering the colors that I'm looking at. Um, I said, okay, well, let's do, you know, because I needed to figure out a way to do a product uh, demonstration for the extension nail gel, and I really didn't want to do um, nail extensions, so I'm just going to use this to um, create flower petals, and I said, okay, let's do um, lilies. So, zooming in super close, which I'm not comfortable with, but... Um, I'm just putting down that little ball of nail extension gel and using my orange stick to just kind of pull at it, bring it down, um, put some angles in there to shape this leaf. So the Stargazer Lily um, has 
three kind of narrow um, petals and then in front are three wide petals and um, it looks like a star which is, gives it its name and um, inside these petals so it's pretty much white for the most part but in the center of the vein or the stem or probably the vein I don't know what that stuff is called <laughs> um, it's it has a, a very strong magenta color that's probably why I really like uh, magentas but um, it has a strong magenta color and it kind of fades as it goes t um, towards the edge of the petal and there's it's it's got like um, darkish speckles of maroon I feel and then the the vein itself is sometimes yellowish green so you can just google <laughs> the stargazer lily so that I don't you know you don't have to listen to me like kind of sadly try to explain what it looks like um but yeah, so I'm going to work petal by petal. I just cured that one that I just finished. And I'm just going to keep um, uh, working my way around the flowers. But I am going to start with the narrow leaves first. Because like I said, if you look at the photos, the narrow leaves are towards the back. And then the wider leaves are towards the, the center. And um, what I'm not going to show because they're not born pretty products, I'm going to, after these are all cured, I'm going to brush it with some magenta um, chrome powder to give it that stargazer lily look um, as well as some gold to the uh, veins of the stargazer lily to add more likeness of the real thing which of course um will be very hard to do especially when you use like chrome powders if you have regular pigment colors that would probably work best but i guess just going along with the this metallic theme with the um cat's eye gel or magnetic gel and um, the reflective glitter gel uh, I guess it's kind of fitting to have um, the chrome powder on these leaves. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this play out um, with some music. And then I'll pop back in for the end result. And here is the end result, my Valentine's Day design using only the PR Born Pretty products that I've been given. Thank you so much Born Pretty for allowing me to collaborate with you again. I'll leave a link of all the product links in the description box below and again, um, I'll also leave my affiliated website link as well as my discount code ismsbyjosie. 
please consider using this code. It'll help me and my family out and it'll help me get more videos out to you. But look at the cat's eye gel and the um, nail extension gel and what I did with them as well as that reflective glitter just lining this stuff up. It's got such a dreamy look to it. And I'm going to do a close-up, you guys, because you have to see the magic that's in here. I mean, I just love this. Look at that cross um, cat's eye stream there. <laughs> as well as the reflective gel borderline. And again, that extension nail gel. Um, we carved those petals out of, and I put those um, powders on there to make it look like stargazer lilies. So pretty. I hope you that you enjoyed this design, you guys. Um, I'm going to be doing a part three for the stamping plate. So thank you for watching. This is Isms by Josie. Please share, like, and subscribe for future videos. And join me again for part three of our product demonstration of Born Pretty. Thanks. Bye.